with a morning prayer and singing the national anthem. Uh, my name is Kenny. And I'm Kate. And we are the MCs today. We are leading through everything that is going on. can all stand so that we may sing the national anthem. Sanctifié, que ton revient, que ton te soit fait si la terre commence. Donnez-nous aujourd'hui notre paix quotidien. Pardonnez-nous nos offenses, comme nous aussi nous pardonnons à ceux qui nous ont offensés. Ne nous induis pas en tentation, mais délivre-nous du mal, car c'est qu'à toi qu'appartient dans tous les cieux. Lorraine, la puissance et la gloire. Amen.
them what you think they don't know. Some of them have challenged us. When you walk around, you'll see a number of projects that they have done, and you'll wonder if such a child at that level can do it. As we move around, we'll find that even nursery, just nursery, you know we always say, those young ones, they are the biggest challenge we have. Some days back I took the secondary kids to the nursery section, and I told them, if you can manage to do such a project at their level, then you are very big. Like, no, those are very small. I said, fine. Did you do that when you were that young? They started looking at me like, no, principal, you know, those are very small. That's their level. I said, yes. Did you do that at that level? Some days, Madam Clara, oh, sorry, I hadn't introduced you officially. Madam Clara is here with us, the director. Glad to see you, Madam. She was moving around and uh, she saw some of those projects. When she came, she was really amazed and she said, I'm really, really challenged by these children. Some of them speak in French and they are able to express themselves in French as well as in English. I said, yes, that's what we do at LEAD and that's what our name suggests. Some of you don't know our motto. It goes, learn, serve, lead. You have to first learn. After learning, it must be in you to serve. Because it is from leadership, rather from service, that we lead. I've never seen a leader who does not serve. I've never seen them. And that's what we all go for. We expect that from our parents because that's what we expect from us. And it's what we put to our children because that we also expect from them. Not just now, but even when they grow. As I just said, that lower part is a different set of uniforms, like you see. That is the second section. We have their own tent. We combine grade seven and eight, and they have related projects because it is in the science area, science and mathematics, which in the modern sciences we call it STEM. So when we get there, we'll see. They have their own math project. I don't know how math has a project, but we shall see it. Um, so many from nursery one up to grade six, they also have their own projects. Every class has a different project. I have also been told that they want to show you that they are very smart at ICT. So they have a lab properly designed. When we get there, we shall also take some notes and learn something. I can't thank you, my dear parents. You've been amazing from the start, and this is not the end. There is so much to do, and we can't do it without you. You are most welcome to our science fair. We welcome you to see what our children have. And in case you feel your child has not done enough, please talk to them. It's not only the teacher's work at school. It is our work. Thank you once again. And uh, Mr. Kenny, can I hand over the microphone back to you, please? Thank you. Let's enjoy the day. Thank you, dear principal, for your speech. Uh, I'm sure we're all waiting to see what we've prepared for you. I know, we're so excited. Especially myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you're doing your own stuff and you're going to be like, wow, damn. This is why I really play school fees, you know? DJ, sub music.
I first put the mixture and I'm gonna separate them. As you see, the flour has went through the holes, but the beans are too big to go through the holes. Thank you. I'm Sonia Maya, student of grade 4 here to arrange our project. Our project is about muscles and the human skeleton. There will be different presenters, and each presenter has something different to present to you. I hope you enjoy it. Let me welcome my dear colleague to tell you more. Thank you.
Stage and here's what I'm going to talk about. Move your mask. I'm going to talk about the heart and the kidneys. The heart. The heart, as you can see, it has many veins. It has many veins and arteries that help to transport blood and food nutrients that can be used by our body. The heart, its main function is to pump blood through the body and transport nutrients and blood that can be used by our whole body. The kidneys. <laughs> the kidneys, the kidneys, their main function is to is to remove excess water, is to remove excess water and filter our blood. Um, this is a, a container for um, the batteries. This is the switch. My name is Rugango Irizanessa, and we were talking about body organs. As you can see here, we have the heart. We have the lungs, liver, kidneys, stomachs, and so much more. So what do you experience by running this? 
Um, it talks about more than about your body and it helps you move, speak, all that. Uh, do you believe you will be someone greater? Yeah. Uh, according to this one you are studying? Yes. In which level you study? Uh, level 6. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, tell us your names and your level of studies. My name is Promise Simena and uh, I study science. Uh, so, how, how, what do you do in terms of performing this? Um, we study about the lungs, liver, heart and digestion system. Okay. So, I would like to ask you what do you want to be in the future? Uh, I want to be a doctor. In which field? Uh, operation. Medicine, yeah? Yeah. In medicine. In medicine. Okay. So I would rather like ask you, uh, the, the way they teach you, is that good? Uh, why, what do you appreciate in terms of how they teach you? I appreciate how they teach us how how the heart beats and other more and other about other body parts. Yeah, you used to experience everything and touching, doing whatever. Yes, how is it? Like example, the heart, the heart, for a child, the heart beats 90 times a minute. Well, uh, an adult, it beats about 70 times in a minute. So, there, it's really entertaining and interesting. Thank you so much. Welcome. My name is Hannah Owulabe. Why are you here? Yes, I'm here because of my children. I'm here to visit what they've been doing in school, what they've been practicing, what the teacher has taught them in order for them to practice what they've been learning and for parents to say the value of our morning. Okay, uh, then you have been experiencing whatever they are doing, I mean kids, so what did you learn? Uh, again? What did you get? Yes, uh, the teacher have, have been so wonderful by taking them to uh, a deep processing of our science and our mathematics, you get. So they've done a lot of uh, and work, I mean, a lot of good work. So I may say kudos to the teachers for these uh, children as young as they were, they will be able to do exactly what they've been taught in class. So they, uh, with what we see as a parent, we are excited, we were impressed to see their performances. So that is that for now. Do you see that your money is valuable? Yes, with what I've seen, the teacher has done well, the money is valuable, at least they know some uh, part of the body, they can do some uh, portion together, you know, the practice, what they've achieved is uh, going to take them a long way in future. Finally, I would like you to tell something to this school, if they can improve something, so you can tell. Again? Any, any, anything to improve? Again? Anything to improve, that uh, this school can improve. Okay, well, uh, what this school should improve on is our, uh, well, not much to say, because they've done well, they've done well. Keep going on with the good work they've started so that when other schools are seen or they hear, they can be impressed to visit Lead International at Kenya and bring their students to join the students there on the campus. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm called Kakosa Charles. Kakosa and Kosa Charles. Uh, I'm a parent to have uh, pupils here. Uh, I would like to ask you, uh, why did you choose this school and uh, uh, what have you seen uh, according to what we were doing here? Uh, Lead International is a good school. First of all, uh, they have experienced teachers and I like their mode of teaching because it is more practical uh, where uh, pupils can express themselves. If you compare where they were before and now, the stu and now when they had joined Lead International, you can find a very, very big difference. Uh, they can express themselves, they are good, they are articulative. So it, it, there is a lot, there is a lot. It's a good school indeed. Have you expressed your kid here uh, experimenting or trying to do whatever here 
uh, what, what they explain, explain to the parents. Have you had a such experience? Yeah, the good thing is now they are too communicative. They can ask you a lot of questions. That shows that at school, back at school, there is a lot going on. So they, they may ask you things concerning science, the day-to-day -day life, the social science, the SST, uh, all sphere of materials they can ask you, which shows that there is a big thing that they get from the school. So we know you that like someone who is some um, uh, have integrity, and uh, we hope that you can choose what is better. And I would like you to recommend this school to other people, according to your experience. Yeah, as I would said b before, they joined the lead international. They were somewhere, uh, but now, if you compare before they joined and after, you can find a very, very big, big, actually wide difference. So, which shows that lead is a good school. Not only that they teach only the course material, but also the way, the way culture-wise, uh, how the kids behave. You, you find change in everything. Not only in the way they follow their course material, but also how they behave. So this is very important thing. Uh, not only also that, even extracurricular activities, you find they had improved uh, immensely, you know. So, uh yeah, it's an extra question. I would like to ask you, comparing to the experience the kids are getting here and comparing to what you experienced when you were a kid, so how is it? No, they are two, I mean, you cannot compare because for us we didn't have a lot of things. Sometimes it was even difficult to get a chair to sit on. So uh, our, <laughs> our generation and their time now, there are two things that you cannot compare. It's like comparing two parallel lines that you will meet at a certain point. So I think now they have a lot. There is a lot of technology that can help them to run better. So there are two situations that is, I mean, is out of comparison. So what is the, the meaning of this kind of education in terms of uh, technology in terms of development of the country. Now this I think it is something very crucial because now it is a practical oriented kind of education. So what you what you run theoretically you can also apply. You can it is up it is applied kind of education which I think it is going to help the nation to develop more scientists who are uh, practical scientists more than theoretical scientists. Uh, of course, it is going also to give more, like in all spheres of the nation, like uh, good readers, good doctors, good accountants, good teachers as well. So I think this is so good. Yeah. Uh, as a public figure, uh, I would like you to tell something to the schools around. Uh, according to what you have learned here, advising them to improve their way of teaching. Uh, all I know, based on the uh, practical exercise that I've seen here, it, it, I, I wish all the schools in Rwanda can adopt this kind of technique of teaching, which is very good. You know, it, it, it does not only develop uh, the kid to, 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 to adopt the school environment, but it, it makes... Uh, a, a kid more of responsible citizen, which is very good. I thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I would like you to introduce yourself and tell us uh, your responsibility around. Yeah, my name is uh, Nathan Mugume. I'm uh, the chairman of the PTA committee. So PTA committee is uh, a committee that brings together parents and, uh, and the teachers. So uh, you are uh the chairperson of that and it means you are a parent uh, who has a kid here so I would like uh, to ask you why did you choose this school? Uh, I've been with this school for the last uh, 12 years and I've seen them uh, you know progressing from uh, being uh, a nursery school or a kindergarten to where they are right now, where now they've even uh, started uh, uh, lower secondary so the reason I've decided to to stick with them or stay here is because uh, they've given me what I'm looking for as a parent yeah so I would like to ask uh, the way this school teaches how does it mean comparing to other school that they teach in another different ways I think uh, schools have uh, different schools have different ways of uh, teaching so this one mainly, uh, Lead International mainly focuses on uh, the Cambridge uh, system 
and uh, it is a curriculum that is uh, shaped in a way where uh, the children are more involved. That is why today we are seeing a science fair where children put into practice what they learn in theory in class. So you have experience to what children are doing there and after seeing it, uh, what is your understanding, what, what is your comment? My comment is very simple. I, I think uh, this is the right opportunity where we see uh, people transferring or children or pupils transferring what they learn in class into knowledge. Yeah, because when they do the practicals, that means uh, they're gaining more knowledge and they understand what they are learning. If they're talking about how a heart works, it's not in theory, they can explain it and that shows you that uh, uh, they have knowledge. And we've seen they've done uh, presentations in sciences, they've done presentations in technology, they've done presentations in, uh, in math, in robotics, which is really, which is really nice. So it, it is knowledge that they are they are gaining yeah well maybe they are good what are they, they are doing but uh, what do you think they can prove so that it may be better i think as you say to their they are good let them uh continue to be better because as i told you i've been with them for the last 12 years and i've seen them progressing making good progress you know from uh, being a kindergarten to where they are now i think they're on the right track so let them keep uh, the same track, the same focus, the same direction. My name is uh, Eva Mutumba. I'm the deputy principal of Lead International School before Little Bears Montessori School. This is a school that started in 2008. It was a vision of uh, these ladies who wanted to touch the young child of Rwanda. They started with their own children. Can you imagine? They started with their own children. This is their vision. And then other parents came in. This is a school that started with whites. Whites, though you don't see many whites right now, but many whites were here before. They just left the school to go into another country. This is a school that started with a vigor of touching the young. DKA, and nursery but as time went on they said but we can also start primary but they thought it could not work do you know that a time came when in the four years five years there were only three children but they never gave up the vision they said even though there are three children we will continue by the time it is it was in grade one the school was growing grade two grade three every year they added on they were looking at a child they were looking at Rwanda nationwide they didn't look at money by the t by that time the money here was very small and the parents were asking how do you gain because you are charging us so little but they said no we don't want to make money we want to touch the nation this money we pay now just started because of what the situation you see the economy but before lead international school was the best school with the lowest prices. Right now, as we talk, we have like 300 to 400 children. The people who had like 10 and once three children in a class, the school has grown. Why? Because we are not looking at a child in a minimum, like if you see a child, you look at a child in a small angle, but we are looking at a child who is a leader tomorrow. We are looking at the beat of the child. We are taking in children who are even not capable. We have special needs. I think you have seen them. Have you seen special needs? And some parents are asking us, can you handle that child? But those children, though they cannot talk, though they cannot hear, they can do something. We have children who have been here and now they are in grade six, but they cannot write but they can answer questions. Though they don't sit exams, but they can have other areas where they are, they are, yeah, they are coming out very well. And the parents are very happy. This is a school of all nations. You know, international can say all nations, but this is a school whereby we cannot judge children.
You bring your child and say, me, I'm tired of the child. We will model the child in lead. We will calm them down in lead. We will teach them what the world is without beating, without abusing. We have small children. You see that Kayang child there in yellow? That one came without talking, but now the child is talking. We have someone who cannot remember anything, but once you give a pencil, because of the nature of the teachers we have, the child will write everything they've ever taught. Why? Because of the way we handle the children. This is a vision that has touched many parents that have gone out in other schools to bring their children to us. We know how to touch them. We know how to calm them. We know how to model them. We know how to make them fit in the society. Those they have said that they are mad. You know, somebody can say, my child is mad. There is no child that is mad. Children are active. If a child comes to say, my child is mad, my child is stubborn. A child, if a child, a child is active. They just need direction. They just need love. Which love these days is not there. People are looking for money. In lead, we are here to bring them here. We become the mothers, we become the parents, we become the counselors, we become the preachers, we become the teachers, we become the friends. They go, they've gone in so many countries, they have children in Berija, they are still connecting back. Because me have been here 10 years, is teacher Evelyn still there, I'm still here. Parents come saying, Little bears. You know we were once little bears, I told you. Americans come, little bears. You know, little. The parents are the ones that told us, but now you are no longer little. It's time you change the school. So, two years back, we changed the school to lead. We are now leading. We learn, we serve, and we lead. That is our motto today. That's why you see these children are too confident. They are learning how to serve and at the end of the day, they will become great leaders. So if anybody is looking out for a school, where a school is not about academics, it's all about the general ability of a child, looking at the next day, which is the future, lead is the school. We are here to receive them. We are here to accommodate them and make them the true leaders of Africa. Welcome to Lead International School. We learn to serve others. At the end of the day, we lead them. Thank you. I'm also thankful because you are inclusive school, and uh, according to what you give, I, I can any parent can say, ah, maybe that school is too expensive. How is it about that? No, it is not passive. Our school is, you know, there is a, a word I usually use: the best school in the world. We have everything in our teen or in our box, or in our basket. If it is a fruit, it is a cocktail. Lead is a cocktail. It's a mixture of all excellent things. We excel, we lead, we serve, we love. I don't know what to say. The sky is the limit. For Randa, it is blessed because of lead. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for giving us this interview. Thank you so much for loving us. We're looking forward to working for Rwanda because it's all about the nation. After Rwanda, we are looking out for Africa because it's us that should touch our continent. It's us that should touch this nation. No anybody else is going to come. As long as we can touch our children in the best way ever, that's where we are starting to build our nation, our continent, and we will not lack. Yes, I've forgotten something. Mm. Uh, I would like you to talk about this day. What about this day? Special day? This, this is a special day. It's called a science fair. This day we are looking at the science, technology, engineering and math all in one basket. Some classes have been talking about science in terms of plants, living and non-living things. Others have been looking at the technology part of it, which concerns roboting, coding, um, parts of the computer. Others have been looking at engineering, sorts of things that can work with the computer. You know, that is engineering. Others have been working uh, uh, mathematics, weighing, measuring, yeah. So it is a beautiful day whereby the children's minds are like imaginations are widened. 
They are not now in class learning one plus one. They are using their own brains to stand before people to explain confidence, self-esteem, self-awareness. They know what they want. They know what they are doing. They own it. There is no teacher behind pushing them. This is their day. There is no teacher there guiding them. It is them and them and what they have before them and the people they are talking to. What do you show to the parents? Hello? What do you show the parents to watch? Let me tell you one thing. In our days, we didn't even have this. Which parent came to see us, apart from coming to pick reports? In our days, we didn't have such events. These are events whereby people come to see what their children can do without anybody pushing them. They, own, they have their things before them. You were there catching them. Did you see anybody shouting, do this? They've taken time. We give them research. We give them projects to go home and try to do something on their own. Then they come to us. We guide. Okay, here you can do this and this. This is good. This is a project they do at home with their parents. That's why the parents had to come, because they were part and parcel. Remember in education, it's not all about the teacher. It's not all about the school. It's all about the teacher, the student, and the parent. That is the triangle of education. It's no longer the teacher, child, whereby the mom is at home, uneducated. These days, people are educated. So me, I give the project, the child comes home, you help, you also say, I have been part and part of this. I have to come and see if you can stand before other people and talk. It was not all about lead. It was not all about the teachers. It was all about teacher, parent, student. Triangle. That's yeah. wonderful. And thank you. Thank you too. Okay. My name is Dr. Clara Chao Igoboa. Um, I'm a resident director in Lead International School. And that, what that means is that uh, I give oversight to the operations of this school and uh, we work together with the management in ensuring that the school runs smoothly and that we accomplish the goals and the vision and mission of this school. Yeah. Mm. Where came up the idea of establishing this school? The directors. We have a number of directors who are the proprietors of this school and they sat together and decided that uh, we want to start something that will be good for children, something that is not just a, a school that is a business, but a school that will have impact, a school that will change the lives of uh, citizens of this nation. And so there are a number of directors and uh, I joined that team as well. I would like to ask you uh, how many students do you have? How many schools do you have in your country? Things like that. Okay. We have uh, two schools. We have uh, two campuses. Uh, one is in Kimihurura and this one here. And uh, we run, uh, our schools run from all the way from nursery with the different grades of nursery and then into primary and into secondary. So we have the two schools and that range of education all the way from uh, Montessori kindergarten uh, which is a Montessori nursery all the way to secondary, which we use the Cambridge system of education. How many numbers of students in general? We have about uh, 400 now, just coming up to, just be between 300 and 400. Yes. Uh, yeah. So uh, why did you adopt this system of teaching and, and putting much practicals? Well, uh, our belief is that um, children are gifted differently. Every child is created with a gift, a talent, and God who's the creator uh, creates children with uh, different capabilities. Our work as educators is to try and make the best out of these children, to ensure that every child grows to um, attain the full potential of who they were created to be. So we need to give children every opportunity to grow in every area. So when we give them practicals, because children are not just intellectual beings, Children are also physical, emotional, social beings. And we, our talents range from intellectual gifts to gifts in sports, to gifts in singing and music, the whole range of gifts. So when you give children practicals, like the opportunity we are giving them today in this uh, science fair, then they are able to bring out the talents that they have. And also their understanding becomes a lot deeper because what they are learning in, through, theoretically they're able to do practically. And that is the best way of learning for children. They're able to understand and develop a deep 
profound understanding of concepts that they have read in the books. So this is one of the most, uh, the best ways of teaching children that they would apply what they are learning in real life. That way education is not just for their heads, but to change the world, to make this world a better place. So what is the difference between uh, Cambridge system and uh, national system? I would say that the Cambridge system looks at um, the whole child. A lot of times, uh, some of the other systems uh, are more geared towards the intellect. The children are not given opportunities to uh, build their level of creativity. And you see, we need creative human beings to solve the problems of this world, to make things better for everybody. So the Cambridge system is good because it, it, it uh, encourages curiosity in children. Like when you do these experiments and through things like the science fair and the practicals and even the, the little ones as they do the Montessori uh, system of education and work with materials and things that deepen their understanding. When they do that, they actually are able to, to bring out the best of who they are bring out the best creativity that they have and therefore solve problems in the world. Okay, so uh, when you are teaching children, sometimes you can, you can, be, you can experience something new. So what did you learn uh, through teaching children like this? And also what are challenges? Um, of teaching children in this way? I don't know if I got your question right. Okay, what I learned, because I didn't go through a system of education that was similar to this. Uh, my system of education was about um, memorizing what you are taught and then uh, regurgitating what you are taught onto the exam papers. And then you pass and you're told you have graduated. But when we teach children in this way, children understand what they are taught. And it is not about, it is about critical thinking. They learn to apply them. So even the things that they're learning today and, and applying and um, demonstrating through this science fair, these are things that they can go and apply in the kitchen at home, in their cooking, in their, maybe some of them will become great chefs because they have understood the science behind what they do. So it really sparks their thinking and their imagination and helps them to actually apply themselves in a very good way for the betterment of their lives and the lives of others. Lastly, the message to the parents, to the Rwandans. Thank you. Yeah, I would say uh, let's be critical about the kind of education that we want for our children. Uh, when you go to a school and you find um, uh, a partnership, a, a great partnership between parents, uh, the school, the children, you know that this is a school that is looking at the welfare of a child as a priority. It, uh, we are not just going to be so concerned about the intellect without being concerned about the human being. So for us we want to bring up children who have um, not just uh, uh, academic excellence and that is very important. We are a school that wants our children to be academically excellent but we also want them to be people of character people of discipline, leaders who are able to, to do what, is, what they were created to do in this world. So I would say to parents, it's advisably, look for those schools that address the whole education of the whole child, not just one part of it. So for me, LEAD International is a school that embodies that kind of educational philosophy. And I know there are many others, but LEAD International, we are sure, is a school that is completely committed to the wholeness of a child. Thank you Thank so much. You. Dear followers of our TV, I would like to welcome you. Uh, here we are, we are at Chininya in Kigari. We have visited a school which is called Reading, Reading International School. It is a school of nursery, primary and also secondary. It is a Cambridge school. Uh, that is wonderful. Uh, today they will having science fair where they show the experiments, what the students are learning, what they are working. Uh, their parents used to come and visit and see whatever you have seen it. Uh, you will see in our videos and uh, we would like to also show you the building of this school. It is like this as you have to watch. Uh, they have many students around uh, three or four thousand students uh, from nursery, primary and uh, also secondary. So if you are eager that you, if you want that your student or your kid may have a good experiential learning, uh, you can come to visit this school and see what they are doing. I'm sure you will like it.
Thank you. My name is Muruchi Noel. Let us watch whatever.